seen my opportunities and I took them. George Washington Plunkett, 1905. Everybody's talking these days about Tammany men growing rich on graft, but nobody thinks of drawing the distinction between honest graft and dishonest graft. There's all a difference in the world between the two. Yes, many of our men have grown rich in politics. I have myself. I've made a big fortune out of the game, and I'm getting richer every day. But I've not gone in for dishonest graft, blackmailing gamblers, saloon keepers, disorderly people, etc. And neither has any of the men who have made big fortunes in politics. There's an honest graft, and I'm explaining of how it works. I might sum up the whole thing by saying, I seen my opportunities, and I took them. Just let me explain by example. My party's in power in the city, and it's going to undertake a lot of public improvements. Well, I'm tipped off, say, that they're going to lay out a new park at a certain place. I see my opportunity, and I take it. I go to that place, and I buy up all the land I can in the neighborhood. Then the board of this or that makes its plan public, and there's a rush to get my land, which nobody cared particular for before. Ain't it perfectly honest to charge a good price and make a profit on my investment in foresight? Of course it is. Well, that's honest graft. Or supposing it's a new bridge they're going to build. I get tipped off and I buy as much property as I can that has to be taken for approaches. I sell at my own price later on and some, drop some more money in the bank. Wouldn't you? It's just like looking ahead in Wall Street or in the coffee or cotton market. It's honest graft, and I'm looking for it every day of the year. I'll tell you frankly that I've got a good lot of it, too. Somehow I always guessed about right, and shouldn't I enjoy the profit of my foresight? It was rather amusing when the condemnation commissioners came along and found piece after piece of land in the name of George Plunkett of the 15th Assembly District, New York City. They wondered how I knew just what to buy. The answer is, I seen my opportunity, and I took it. I haven't confined myself to land. Anything that pays is in my line. For instance, the city's repaving a street and has several hundred thousand old granite blocks to sell. I'm on hand to buy, and I know just what they're worth. How? Never mind that. I had a sort of monopoly of this business for a while, but once a newspaper tried to do me, it got some outside men to come over from Brooklyn and New Jersey to bid against me. Was I done? Not much. I went to each of the men and said, how many of these 250,000 stones do you want? One said 20,000, and another wanted 15,000, and another wanted 10,000. I said, all right, let me bid for the lot, and I'll give each of you all you want for nothing. They agreed, of course. Then the auctioneer yelled, how much am I bid for these 250,000 fine paven stones? $2.50, says I. $2.50, screamed the auctioneer. Oh, that's a joke. Give me a real bid. He found the bid was real enough. My rival stood silent. I got the lot for two fifty and gave them their share. That's how the attempted to do Plunkett ended, and that's how all such attempts end. I've told you how I got rich by honest graft. Now let me tell you that most politicians who are accused of robbing the city get rich the same way. They didn't steal a dollar from the city treasury. They just seen their opportunities and took them. That is why, when a reform administration comes in and spends half a million dollars trying to find public robberies they talked about in the campaigns, they don't find them. The books are always right. The money in the city treasury is all right. Everything's all right. All they can show is that the Tammany heads of departments looked after their friends within the law and gave them what opportunities they could to make honest graft. Now let me tell you that's never going to hurt Tammany with the people. Every good man looks after his friends, and any man who doesn't isn't likely to be popular. If I have a good thing to hand out in private life, I give it to a friend. Why shouldn't I do the same in public life? Another kind of honest graft? Tammany has raised a good many salaries. There was an awful howl by the reformers. But don't you know that Tammany gains 10 votes for every one is lost by salary raising? The Wall Street banker thinks it's shameful to raise a department clerk's salary from 15000 to 18000 a year, but every man who draws a salary himself says, that's all right, I wish it was me. And he feels very much like voting the Tammany ticket on election day, just out of sympathy. Now, in conclusion, I wanted to say that I don't own a dishonest dollar. If my worst enemy was given the job of writing my epitaph when I'm gone, he couldn't do more than write George W. Plunkett. Plunkett. He's seen his opportunities, and he took them.